Welcome to Den of Tools. Hi, ho guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today, yeah, we're talking about it again. I find it hard to believe, but yeah, we're talking empty shelves some more. Not just about the shelves that are empty right now, but the shelves that could be empty come this winter. Uh, it's some scary times going on and there's some weird stuff going on. Let me tell you what's going on and why the, the bear is going all alarmist alpaca on this. So there's a lot of news stuff going on right now. And as you read between the lines, this started back in April shortages that may happen again this year. We got the empty shelf crisis of 2021. Uh, many companies are facing a stockpiling dilemma as the pandemic influence world continues. And this is from July. And this is actually the issue. It's not so much that people are creating this issue like we had with the whole toilet paper thing where people just lost their mind and decided to suddenly that they had to stock up on toilet paper of all things. No, what's going on is that there is an issue with rising prices, the del all of this stuff happening. And that's not the consumers this time, but instead the retailers are the ones losing their minds. Retailers are stocking up like never before. They are piling on. What's going on is that these large retailers will reach out and they will they'll tell they'll tell their distributors, hey, we want the lion's share. Now I'm talking about companies like. Uh, Walmart and Home Depot and stuff like that, they're reaching out and saying, you know what, we know that the holidays are coming and we want the majority of the product. Thing is, though, they're not going to put it all on the shelves right now. They're going to wait and and see how the market proceeds because they don't want to they, they, they want to drive up prices. Let's be entirely honest. But the fact is that this is reports coming in that I've heard from several distributors that the large box stores, the bigger stores, are buying up all the supplies. And it's not just like, it's not like they're all getting it. It's like Walmart's getting some of this and Kohl's is getting some of that. And, you know, the, you know, Home Depot's getting some of these. So they'll have a whole bunch of one or two or three items, but they'll be missing out on a whole bunch of other stuff because these other stores got it. And they're going to be trickling them out until they can feel that the whole just in time, you know, supply chain has gotten fixed. And if it hasn't gotten fixed, then they're going to keep trickling it out. Now, if we take a look at the current shipping situation and this, and again, if you, those of you who hadn't seen this from my previous video, this is a live, like legit right this moment, live satellite uh, tracking of all the ships that have GPS trackers on them. And this is of course, every commercial vessel out there. Uh, you can go over here and like see the green ones are cargo vessels. The red ones, uh, let's see what the red ones, what are they? there we go. The red ones are tankers, sorry. The blue ones are tugs and special crafts. I think the pink ones are pleasure crafts. The orange ones are fishing. So you can see the, their, you know, what the channels are for uh, commercial traffic and such. But if you look at the port of, of California or down, or down in LA, you look up in Seattle, you look at the Gulf. My gosh, look at the Gulf. Tons of stuff. And then, of course, We've got all sorts of tugs. Those are moving. The tugs are moving uh, cargo in and up. They say they transition off of the freighters to uh, tug uh, tugboat chains, I guess. I don't know what they call them, uh, going up and down the river. I should consider how long I lived along those rivers. Uh, look at the Great Lakes. The, the, the whole world is just packed with cargo containers right now. And they're stacked because they're waiting to get cargo off. I mean, if we go over here and we look at Asia where this is all going, you think it's bad here. That's China. <laughs> it, it is just absolute madhouse there. Uh, look at this down here. This is, they're, they're completely just, just overwhelmed, waiting for people to take people on, take stuff on, take stuff off, and they can't keep up. Anyway, the whole point of this video is to tell you this. I'm not trying to cause a panic. I'm not trying to tell you to run out and buy everything right now. But if there's something you're really going to need, you might want to consider stocking up. Anyway, I hate doing this kind of video because I want to be the bear who cries wolf, but there is a possibility we could see severe shortages and more empty shelves this winter, but they're going to be for different reasons, but the effect on you is going to be the same. Anyway, I just want you all to be prepared. Make sure you got the tools you need to get through the winter. If you're going to be needing a generator, don't wait till it gets cold. If you're going to be needing some uh, heaters and stuff, don't wait until it gets cold. I'd stock up the old freezer just to be sure. And, uh, you know, and be prepared. <laughs>
That's the, the bear motto around here. Anyway, let me know what you're going to stock up down in the comments. I'd like to hear about that. Are you, are, do you have a generator? Are you planning to get a generator here? Uh, you know, what else are you looking to get and stockpile for this winter? Anyway, while you're down there in the comments, don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell on your way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.